Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. I am Faraz Qurban Rajpar and in this lecture I am going to discuss with you about ligand based drug design. That is one of the most important technique of computer aided drug design. These are the outlines of this lecture. In this lecture we will learn about ligand based drug design different methods of ligand based drug design like pharmacophore modeling qsar that is quantitative structure activity relationship and the basic steps that are involved in the qsar process at the end of this lecture you may also find a quiz for your self evaluation ligand based drug design this method is also known as an indirect method of computer aided drug design because in this the three dimensional structure of target protein or target receptor is unknown means we don't have already any information about that protein or that receptor and neither we can determine its structure on the other hand we have information about the ligand or lead molecule means we know that what is the chemical structure of ligand or lead molecule which type of functional group are present in that lead or ligand molecule and the basis of the information of the ligand molecule we may develop a pharmacophore model in which we will be able to evaluate the interaction of ligand molecule with the particular type of receptor and once we find that favorable and then we may design the new drug molecule by using these technique of ligand based drug design so there are the two main techniques that are used in the ligand based drug design one is the pharmacophore modeling and the other is the quantitative structure activity relationship in ligand based drug design generally we assume uh, that those ligand or lead molecule which have the similar chemical structures means which have similar functional group which is the similar pharmacophore they may have the similar biological activity and they may cause the similar type of interaction similar type of bonding with the particular binding site on the targeted protein pharmacophore modeling pharmacophore modeling can be used in structure based drug design and as well as in ligand based drug design technique of the CADD in case of a structure based drug design pharmacophore model can be developed on the basis of three dimensional structure of the protein drug target on the basis of the binding site and its amino acid sequence of the protein drug target and they can be helpful in developing the pharmacophore bottle in case of ligand based drug design pharmacophore modeling is done on the basis of structural features of the ligand molecule that can be bound to the target and it is used to screening of the other similar type of ligand with the similar chemical structure for suppose we have already reported a drug molecule and its receptor is already also known now if we are using the ligand based drug design approach what we have to do we will check the common structural features of that particular drug that are going to bind with the target okay now these common structural features will be observed 
are evaluated in the other chemical compound or other lead or hit molecule during the virtual screening process and on the basis of the similar fingerprinting or chemical molecular similarity we may then say that this ligand or this lead molecule can be effectively bind with that type of receptor so in this way we may design a several new drug molecule by the pharmacophore modeling so this diagram basically shows the structure of a drug molecule and on the basis of this structure this pharmacophore model has been developed this is the pharmacophore model in which you may observe the structural interaction between the chemical structure and the receptor or the protein target these are basically the three dimensional structural functional group of the ligand molecule so in this pharmacophore modeling basically we are using the chemical and physical similarity approaches why we are using this because we have no any idea about the structure of the protein target so what we will do we will check the chemical structure and the different physical and chemical parameter of the already reported targeted drug and its known target protein okay and then we will compare the structure of the already reported ligand or drug molecule with the structure of the chemical compound or lead molecule or the hit on which we are doing the research okay now what we will have to do we will observe the that which kind of similar functional group or which kind of similar bonds are present in the already reported drug and the in the molecule or compound or lead molecule on which we are doing our research so if we are observing some two or three same functional group so on that basis we may assume that these similar functional group can be responsible to bind with that type of particular receptor and then we will assign that receptor to the ligand molecule so in this diagram you may see that these are the different type of structural features that are helpful in binding with the target protein like some functional group are hydrogen bond acceptors and some are hydrogen bond donors some are the anionic some are cationic some are highly hydrophobic in nature means lipophilic functional group and some drugs have the aromatic bonds aromatic rings and some have unsaturation in their structures some have the cyclic rings okay so these are the various structural features of the ligand molecule that can be helpful in designing of the drug in the ligand based drug design quantitative structure activity relationship or a qsar model is an other method of ligand based drug design this method is basically a mathematical relationship between the biological activity and the measurable physicochemical parameters of a ligand drug molecule it has been believed that there are certain properties of a ligand or lead molecule which have a major influence on its observed biological property on its observed therapeutic property 
and these are the physico chemical properties of the ligand or lead molecule among these physico chemical parameters which may affect or which may increase or decrease the biological activity are lipophilicity the shape or entire chemical structure of the lead or ligand drug molecule its electron distribution that is related with the different type of functional group that is present okay so these various physical chemical parameters have influence on its biological activity okay so it is possible to either measure or calculate these parameter for a different biological compounds and then relation is checked among the values of the biological activity and these physical chemical parameters and that relationship is known as the qsar that is the quantitative structure activity relationship so these different physical chemical parameters like lipophilicity electronic affect properties and steric affect properties can be represented by the parameters like partition coefficient can be used for the lipophilicity values of the ligand drug molecule the drugs which have the higher number of non polar functional group will have the higher lipophilicity values hamet constant can be used for the electronic affect properties of the ligand lead drug molecules these are basically the properties that depend upon the electronic charge or the various functional group that are responsible for creating the charge in the structure tests are steric constants can be used for the steric properties of the ligand or lead drug molecule that are the steric hindrances which occurs due to the presence of bulky functional group like bulky alkyl group methyl okay qsar model equation can be written in a general form like biological activity is equal to or that is the function of different physico chemical parameters the basic steps of a qsar model qsar is one of the ligand based drug design technique it is also a step wise process in which various steps are being performed in order to design or synthesize a new drug molecule okay so first of all the active hit or lead molecule is to be identified so the techniques involved in the identification of the hit or lead molecule are the literature search virtual screening and the high throughput screening next step will be the identification of physico chemical similar structural features in the structure of the hit or lead molecule in comparison to the already reported drug so that we may assume that uh, these type of bonds functional group and uh, atoms that are present in this structure are helpful in the binding with the particular target okay next will be the development of the qsar model like in which we will uh, assess the identified functional group are the structural features that are present in the drug molecule and their influence on the biological property after that we will validate and optimize the qsar model in which we will evaluate the biological property and we will modify its structure or we will make other changes in order to make it optimized to show the maximum biological activity and in the last the optimized drug molecules are then can be tested 
experimentally. So now let's have a quiz. You may post your answers in the comment section. Question number one, define ligand based drug design. Question number two, define quantitative structure activity relationship. Question number three, give the example of ligand based drug design techniques. So this is all about this lecture. Thank you so much everyone. Allah bless you all.